Hello, this is uh, Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another video. Um, so yeah, another rest in peace video, I guess. Um, another celebrity has died. This time around, um, it's David Bowie. So yeah, he died. And I know, I know this video is kind of late. Um, I just didn't know how to do this video because I'll say in a second. But basically, he died on January 10th, 2016, at the age of 69. Um, cause of death is liver liver cancer. So yeah, he died two days after his birthday, which was on January eighth. Um, he was born in nineteen forty seven. His birthday is on January eighth, so he dies two days later. And at the same time, January eighth, it's the um, it's when his last album was released. Um, I believe it's called Black Star. So yeah, Black Star, I believe, is the name of his uh, final uh, album. So yeah. Now the reason I didn't know how to do this video is because I'm not really that big of a fan of David Bo like I don't really hear much of his music to be honest I'm uh, I I know a few of his songs you know Space Oddity, Black Star um, from his new albums and stuff like that and I've seen a few of his movies Labyrinth and stuff but you know I, li I liked the guy for who he was you know how he was he's always uh, creative and outgoing but I was never really a huge fan of him so by so yeah but I do feel like he is one of those people where you just need to give respect for who he is and for what he's done for the acting world and the entertainment world as a whole um there's many I mean he's been in some gr pretty great films cult films whatever um you know cultural films labyrinth labyrinth is probably one um his best known film but he was also in stuff like the prestige and yeah, um, yeah. So, um, and Zoolander. I mean, Zoolander. I wasn't really a huge fan of, to be honest. But he was also in that. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I I really don't know how to talk to it because talk about it because I'm not really. A hu I'm, I like his work. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I like his work and I like his music, but I'm not a huge fan. Like I like I don't know every single song of his that he's ever played or whatever. I don't know every single movie he's been in. I've seen a few of his movies. I I know a few of his songs. So yeah, but I do feel like he is a person who's a legend in the entertainment business. And I do think he is someone who should be remembered. Um, and so yeah, and he's influenced so many people. Um. In the musical world, um, from Lady Gaga and Madonna and Britney Spears to Nirvana and Queen, he's he's definitely um had his influences throughout all of music history. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's many people who have been influenced by David Bowie, um, Elton John as well. I mean, I think Elton John came first, but he did become a bit influenced, at, you know, throughout his work as well, Iggy Pop. So, yeah. It is sad to see him go out. Um, it is sad. Um, and me personally, I am sad that he died. Okay, despite me not being a huge fan of his music, I did like what the guy did. I did like um, his. I did like the Prestige and Labyrinth, and I re I think he did a gave great performances in those two films. So you know, as a Actor, I think he did, he was pretty good, and from what I've seen out of him. Now, as a musician, Space Oddity, pretty good, mu um, pretty good music out of there. Uh, and Black Star, I've heard um a few of the songs from his recent album, Black Star, and again, they're pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, overall, he he is someone who should be respected. Um, and yeah, it is sad to see him go. Me, I'm not personally that affected not like when Kel um, Lenny Kilmister died or Robin Williams or Paul Walker I'm not that personally affected but I do think he is someone who should be respected who is someone who should be cherished um now that he's dead I think people should cherish him a bit more you know now now that he is dead especially since he, I believe he was going to do a concert tour in tour, um in March of later this year and now that he's dead that's not going to happen so yeah, but he's been a huge influence inf influence to the um, to the music world, to the entertainment world, entertainment business as in, uh, in general. And it is kind of sad um, to see him go again. He went out. Uh, he he died of liver cancer. He's had it for the past eighteen months. Um, he it was a secret that only him, his family, and a few friends of his him knew. But aside from that, nobody really knew. So 
yeah, many celebrities, I don't know if it's just me, but there's many celebrities who, um, who are dying of cancer right now. Um, Lemmy Kilmister died of cancer. Um, yeah, of, of aggressive cancer. Uh, um, David Bowie just died of liver cancer. Alan Recommend just died of cancer like two seconds ago. I mean, which I'll do a video for that too. So, I mean, I know this video is late. Um, I just didn't know how to discuss it properly as I'm not a huge fan of the guy. Um, I, I like his stuff. I like what he's been in. And I, and I do feel like he's a very, very talented individual. But me being, me not being a per, um, a huge fan of him, I just didn't know how to approach the topic. But I did feel like I needed to do a video addressing his death. And I feel like this is the best way to address it, like, um, at, not coming as a fan or whatever, but coming as someone who likes his work but isn't a huge fan of it. Um, I like his work. I just don't know that much to call myself a fan of it. Um, his work. So that's how. That's basically how I'm approaching it, and that's how it is for me. Um, so yeah, sad to see him go. Um, you know, great, great guy. Um, you know, very influential in the entertainment business. You know, um, has inspired many of the um, great. Has inspired many great musicians over the years, from Queen to Nirvana, Lady Gaga, um, to Elton John, Iggy Pop, and Madonna, and anything in between that. You know, yeah, it's just um, it's sad. Um, so yeah, now I gotta do a video on Alan Alan Rickman, who actually also died at sixty nine. So fuck. Um, so yeah, um, two legends in one week, and three legends in one month. Yeah, two legends in this one week alone. We lost David Bowie on Monday, Alan Rickman on Thursday. Who the hell is next? Um, probably shouldn't have said that, but okay. And then in the past month, we also had Lemmy Kilmister, so fuck. Um, yeah, I'll do a video for Alan Rickman right now. And yeah, it's basically it for now. What are your thoughts on David Bowie? Um, what's your favorite movie out of him? Uh, for me, it's probably Labyrinth. Probably an easy choice, but, you know, it's, it's probably Labyrinth. And what's your favorite song out of um, David Bowie or album or whatever? I think anything that came out of Space Oddity is probably some of his best work. Um, there's this song, I, f I forget what the what song's called, but I, I, I remember the music video. I just forget what the song's called. Is him in a white shirt or whatever, and he's basically looking at the camera with his two colored eyes. Yeah, he has like one blue eye and one brown eye or something like that, and this is basically him singing. I remember the video a lot. I'm um, should probably search it up. So, yeah, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on David Bowie? Of course, influential guy. Me not being a personal fan of him, however, I'm not really that affected, but I do see how people will be affected by his death. Um, and yeah, just sad to see him go. And yeah, what are your thoughts on David Bowie? And that's basically it for now. Um, rest in peace, David Bowie, and yeah, it's basically it for now. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Um, comment down below your thoughts on David Bowie, like the videos on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is uh, Daniel Mart signing off.